Welcome to the Miami-Dade Virtual College Online Course Tour. At MDC, we use the Blackboard Learning Management System to deliver our online courses. Students can access the Blackboard login page at mycourses.mdc.edu. Although the design of our courses will vary depending on the subject matter, this short video will show you the key components and course tools that are typically used in all of our courses. At the end of this brief demonstration, you will have gained a basic understanding of how MDC online courses are structured and how to navigate through Blackboard with greater proficiency. And now, I'll turn it over to Sophia, who will guide you through a typical online course offered by the Virtual College. Thanks, John. Hi, I'm Sophia. As John mentioned, I will be walking you through a typical virtual college online course and highlighting the key features and learning tools so that you may become more productive in the virtual college online learning environment. Let's begin with MDC's Blackboard login page. You will log in by using the same username and password you use to enter the MDC student portal to register for classes and to access your schedule. When you log in, you'll be directed to MDC's Blackboard homepage. Here you will find helpful items such as tutorials for you to become more familiar with Blackboard, an announcement section for virtual college staff to post helpful updates and information, and several other tools and links. This page also offers you the option to customize the look of your homepage by modifying the default settings. Now, let's look at the top right-hand corner. Here you will see important tabs. Since we will be exploring virtual college courses and its key components, we will click on the Courses tab. A list of your currently available online courses will appear here during each semester. If you're currently taking an online class and you do not see it listed, please contact your instructor or the Virtual College Student Help Desk. Now we will enter into the Virtual College course by clicking on the course link for a quick overview of what you will see inside each class. Although the overall colors and layout of each online course may vary, the navigation menu will always appear on the left hand side. Let's take a look at getting started. This section found under course information gives you quick access to important details and instructions for you to begin each course successfully. Typical items in this section will include a course introduction with general information about virtual college classes, technical requirements, student tutorials, and a meet your classmates discussion forum activity. Now we will move on and click on the syllabus, also found in the course information section. During the beginning and throughout the term, we encourage all students to carefully review the syllabus. It's easily accessible in the navigation menu and it offers essential information that students must be aware of. We will now discover the look and feel of an online course by reviewing the course content. The Learning Modules or Lessons tab is where you will find the actual content of the course. This section contains course materials that include several chapters, presentations, and assessments. Once you click on a specific module, you can read the instructions that guide you through the completion of each section and its activities. By clicking on a chapter, you will be able to access a short introduction, learning objectives, and a checklist of tasks you must complete. You may also see that there are additional resources such as videos and interactive games tailored to enhance your online learning experience. There are two ways to return to a previous section. You may use the course menu at any time to locate any unit or you can follow the breadcrumbs to find out how to return to a previous section. Returning to course content, now we'll explore discussion boards. 
This is how online students communicate with classmates and instructors throughout the term. You will have several opportunities to participate in meaningful, intentional discussions. Keep in mind that discussions are assignments that will be graded. I encourage you to review the instructions and to use proper netiquette. As we move to proctored assessments, please note that all virtual college classes require students to take a proctored midterm and or a final assessment. In this section, you can review important information such as testing options, dates, and the approved ancillary materials for each exam. Another way to communicate within the course is by using the course messages option. This allows you to email your classmates and your instructor. Just click on create message, select your recipient, add the subject, and write your email. Also found in the Tools and Resources menu and below the Course Messages link you will find the calendar. This is an excellent way to stay on track in each of your online courses. Your instructor may use the calendar to list several assignments and their due dates or to only list one particular event. But as a student, we encourage you to create all events directly related to your course. You have the option to select your viewing preference whether it's daily, weekly, or monthly. To create an event, just click on the day it will be scheduled. List the name of the event, the start and end time and date, and a short description. For a reoccurring event, just select the repeat box and add the details. Please remember that this is your calendar, a tool that you may customize to help you succeed by enhancing your time management and organizational skills. Located in the course menu under Tools and Resources, click on the My Grades link to view the gradebook. Students are encouraged to review their grades during the academic term. The first row under Item shows the weighted total. This reflects the weighted average of completed graded assignments. When clicking on Grading Criteria, you can see the breakdown of how many points or percentages are assigned to each category. Let's review by taking a look at the first graded item. The first column reflects the name of the particular assignment. The middle section indicates whether the activity was graded and the time and date that it was posted for student viewing. Now, if we scroll down to Chapter 7, Video Case Assignment, Students may view the rubric to find out how that written assignment will be graded. The middle column shows that the student's work has been submitted, but not yet graded. Moving over to the right column, the yellow icon also indicates to students that it still needs grading. Let's look at grades posted. Moving up to Chapter 2 Discussion, on the right-hand column, this student earned a 90%. He also has the option to review the instructor's feedback by clicking on the bubble icon. This provides guidance to students on how to improve their coursework. We'll finish by demonstrating where you can locate other course tools and resources. Moving over to the course menu, and by clicking on Other Tools, students can find shortcuts to the sections we've already reviewed, but also other new tools. For example, Virtual college students can access online tutoring at no additional cost. This is a valuable resource to help students succeed. Thank you, Sophia. Well, this concludes the MDC online course video. We hope this tutorial has provided you with a helpful asset to master your course navigation and the application of key Blackboard tools. If you have additional questions, please contact the Virtual College Student Help Desk. And from everyone here at Miami-Dade College, we wish you academic success.